We just wrapped a cruise on Celebrity's newest ship, the Celebrity Ascent, and we are here to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hey everyone, what is up? My name is Jordan. And I'm Jared. And this is JJ, JJ Cruz. Cruise. We have <laughs> spent a beautiful seven nights in the Caribbean on Celebrity's newest and biggest ship, the Celebrity Ascent. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty of everything you need to know. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yes, and hit that thumbs up. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers and you can be a part of the first 50K. Now we're gonna start with the good, but don't forget to stay tuned till the very end because that is where we're gonna tell you the bad, the not so great, what you need to know, as well as the ugly of our cruise. But let's start off with the good. When it comes to the good, we're gonna start by talking about our stateroom. Now for this seven night voyage, we did stay in a deluxe inside cabin. This was the cheapest cabin that you could possibly find for our week long voyage. And we really loved this stateroom. It's big, there is plenty of storage. And one of our favorite things about the stateroom is the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom is beautiful. The shower is just gorgeous, wrapped in glass and full of the amenities for shampoo, conditioner, and that of shower gel. And I can lotion up after I get out of the shower as well. The good news is about this particular stateroom bathroom is this is the same bathroom you're gonna find in most of the categories from deluxe inside up through a lot of the verandas as well. So if you're watching this video and you're staying in any type of those cabins, you'll have the same bathroom and shower experience that we got here on the Celebrity Ascent. When it comes to the overall ship design, we were pleasantly surprised that after going on Celebrity Edge, Celebrity Apex, and Celebrity Beyond, the other three cruise ships in the Edge class prior to Celebrity Ascent, that the Celebrity Ascent cruise ship only has improvements on these other three. Now, she is most like that of Celebrity Beyond, but she only has improvements, and we're gonna talk about some of those improvements right now because they were only for the best. One of the areas that we saw the biggest improvement was the pool deck. The pool deck is almost a mere perfect design. Now on Beyond, we saw some very interesting and what we called ugly cacti kind of on the pool deck. Those are gone on the ascent and has been replaced with tons of resort seating, very comfortable loungers and couches. And the pool deck has a lot of umbrellas. Now this is a big improvement from the other sister ships in the class. There are umbrellas over the seating sections, over some of the um, pool chairs, as well as over the champagne hot tubs. The extra shade doesn't stop there. There's also canopies uh, above that of the outdoor decks by Eden. So really they're looking out for those that want to lay out in the somewhat sun, but not get overheated or sunburned. Along with these improvements for outdoor areas comes a brand new al fresco dining experience for Blue Specialty Restaurant. Now, of course, this restaurant is only for those in Aqua Class or have some kind of Aqua Class stateroom. But if you are staying in one of these Aqua Class cabins, this is a really cool new thing that you can do, which is dining outdoors at night or for breakfast. There's a brand new venue on the Celebrity Ascent called the Annex. We talked a little bit about this in our first impressions, but since doing that video, we've actually experienced the Annex for ourselves. This experience is a private experience for you and up to 15 people to have this intimate space where you can view a movie, do karaoke, play virtual golf. And I can say after doing this, this was one of our favorite things we have ever done on any cruise ship. The space is incredible. It's thoughtfully designed. You get your own personal server and host during the few hours that you rent this space for. And it was amazing. Shout out to the activities team. Shout out to our host Vichy and the whole bar staff that took care of us for the two and a half hours during our experience. Because truly, this will go down in the books as one of our favorite memories on a cruise ship. For this experience, it was about $35 per person. That included a little extra for tip. We wanna make sure we showed our appreciation for those that served us. But make sure you book this soon because we would expect this to potentially change in price very shortly. You can do this online through the Manage Cruise or Cruise Planner through your online portal. There are additional redesigned spaces like the Art Gallery and Casino, which look very different from that on Beyond. Very clean, very beautiful. We really enjoyed the redesign of these spaces as well. We can't talk about the good without talking about entertainment. 
And this is something that we have found to love on the Celebrity Edge Class cruise ships. On board the Celebrity Ascent are two separate casts. There is that of the main production cast that's in the main theater and that of the Eden cast, which is a cast that goes into the Eden space, but also into the club. Let's start by talking about the Eden cast. There are four shows on a seven night cruise and we saw three of them. We saw Shimmerbox, Allure, and Smoke and Ivories. All three of these shows were incredible. The cast is very talented, the vocalists are amazing, the dancers are crisp and clean, and the entire cast is great at storytelling. Out of the three, I think that we enjoyed Allure the best, but you're not going to want to miss to any of these shows, and the key here is you must get to each venue one hour prior to showtime to get seats. Do not expect to show up five or ten minutes before the show and get in. The venues completely pack out each time, and the venues are small because these are intimate performances. So show up early and do not miss these shows. I think a clear favorite for these shows are always the Bilak Brothers. They're fantastic muscle men that are balancing each other on top of each other. Uh, they also do some amazing other airless acts as well. So very cool and definitely one not to miss. That was the Eden Cats. Now let's talk about the main production shows, which are in the main theater. The two shows we saw were Bridges and Awaken. We already talked a little bit about Bridges. It didn't hit the mark completely, but was still a fantastic show. Whereas Awaken, we just saw, and it is my personal favorite show I've ever seen on a celebrity cruise ship. And we have seen every single show minus those on Celebrity Infinity and Celebrity Millennium. That's right, this is my favorite show of practically every ship show for Celebrity Cruises, and it is for a reason. From the dancing, to the singing, to the technology, we have never seen a show quite like this on a cruise ship. The music was incredible, the talent is off the chains, but I think what sticks out here in this show is the tech. The screens are 3D, the show is just unlike anything we have ever seen. The premise, of course, is a dream world, so you're experiencing all types of experiences that you could experience in a dream, whether it's happiness, sadness, uh, fear, whatever it could be you are experiencing. And just like Jordan said, it is mind-boggling. It's a spectacular spectacle to see, and you cannot miss it, but make sure, as a hot cruise tip here, to sit more towards the back and in the middle. If you sit close, you will not get the full impact because it does involve the entire stage. The tech doesn't stop with the entertainment though. It continues on into the activities. There's a brand new experience called Game On. This experience has been almost every single day on board the cruise ship in the club. What this is, is a brand new experience where you are the player in a retro arcade game. There's an entire projected screen onto the floor and it tracks your motion and you are the actual remote control. There are six different games to play. As you can see in some of these images, it is absolutely gorgeous to see as a viewer, but even more fun to play. There's so many fun things to do here and it was a true fan favorite from the beginning. Similar to some other things on the ship, we expect this to become one of the most popular activities on board. So always show up early for these types of activities and definitely check out Game On when you come on board the Celebrity Ascent. We are also seeing Celebrity really step up their game in terms of trying to compete with other cruise lines and their offerings that they have on other ships. One area that we're seeing this is the piano bar experience. Now we know a lot of other cruise lines have piano bars or piano players that will come on board, take requests, um, and have a night of just kind of singing along in the pub. Well, there is a piano player on this ship. We've never seen that on a celebrity cruise before. And they're having pop-up pub nights in different venues. We saw this in Eden and we also saw it in the club. This became really popular really fast once people found out about it, and it was a really, really great addition to the cruise schedule. We love seeing this added activity or, or evening performance in the mix of the millions of other activities and shows that you have on board the Celebrity Ascent. So if you like that type of environment with a piano player and putting in song requests, you won't want to miss that on board the ship. Another new experience that we didn't know for sure would actually be a hit or not 
was Shine the Night. This experience is outside on the pool deck where you are supposed to dress in metallic. So don't forget to pack for your crew's metallic outfits because everyone was decked out in metallic looks. Once we got off to the pool deck, we found out from the get-go that this was going to be something that we've never seen on Celebrity before. It was an all-out party full of lights, sound, even a guy with a disco head. It was absolutely stunning, a blast, and honestly, it may be one of the best deck parties we've ever been a part of across any cruise ship. In terms of the food on board, we tried the main dining room, we've tried specialty dining, and we have tried the buffet, as well as some of the small casual eats. Overall, the food on the ship has been very, very good. Some of the best versions of different food items that we've seen on other ships we have found here on the Celebrity Ascent. We really did not have a bad meal while on board here during our seven nights, so we are happy to report back that the food was delicious, and for us, our favorite specialty dining on board a Celebrity Edge class ship does remain the rooftop grill. Along with food and beverage comes service, and we reported in our first impressions that our beverage service wasn't very good to start, but our food service was great. We're happy to say that it's only gotten better from the first few nights, and we think that that's gonna continue on. Along with this, it's a maiden voyage, so there's bound to be some bumps. It's not our first rodeo when it comes to a maiden voyage cruise, and this has been a fantastic one in regards to it being a maiden voyage. That was the good. Now let's move into the bad, or we like to say the things that you must know before coming on the ascent. And then, of course, right after that, we will share what we are deeming as our ugly. Starting out with our stateroom, although we love the deluxe inside cabin, it does feel dark in here and we did say this in our full stateroom review which you can go check out on our channel if you are someone that doesn't really handle a darker or closed in space this would not be right for you luckily enough it's great for sleeping but something to know if you're going to book an inside cabin in the good section we talked about the eden cash shows Something that we had hoped they would improve upon with the Celebrity Ascent is maybe seating or viewing areas for these shows. Space tends to be an issue for every single one of these shows. We have seen pretty bad arguments break out on the different ships over people showing up late or standing in front of other people blocking their view for the Eden cast. There has been no change or improvement in these venues whatsoever, which is why we say you have to show up early for them. Maybe in the future, maybe for Celebrity Excel, we will see this change, but it was something that we just did not see here on the Celebrity Ascent. There was one new activity on board this ship that we were so excited for. This is Celebrity's biggest cruise ship, so we thought this was going to be a huge event, and that was Pub Games Night at the club. We heard there was going to be curling and a lot of pub activities, and we knew that they do street curling on Celebrity and have seen this in the past, and it's incredible. It's so much fun. Once we got to the event, we noticed it wasn't that. It was actually small tabletop games that are maybe the size of like six feet long at the most, probably a little bit shorter than that. It was very underwhelming and unfortunately not a hit with most cruisers. Who knows if it'll stay on board for long, but definitely a miss for this cruise. Something that we love about Celebrity and Celebrity Edge Class is that there are a lot of solo cabins on board. With solo cabins, I think there comes the expectation that there will be solo events or solo meetups. Something that was a little strange on this ship, and some solo travelers pointed this out to us, was that for all seven nights, there was only one solo meetup on the very first night. That's a very easy fix. We hope that Celebrity will fix that in the future. And if you're a solo traveler and notice that on your cruise, always put it on your post-cruise survey. Being that this is a brand new cruise ship, we expected there to be some new dining venues, whether that be the main dining rooms that have stayed the same for the last three cruise ships, or whether it be new specialty restaurants. Unfortunately, that did not happen, and there was rarely a new menu item even added to any of the menus. In fact, from what we see, it was only at Craft Social as well as Cafe El Baccio where we saw any changes to menus at all. Definitely something we expected to have more change up uh, and we're very unfortunately disappointed by this not being the case. Something else that you must know that was a little bit disappointing to us is some of the drink prices have gone up. Some of the premium drinks that we used to really love and enjoy have gone up two or three dollars so they're no longer included in that 
premium drink package. Um, I think that we've actually paid an upcharge for more drinks than we expected to this week. We've only spent about $20 or $30 in total. So this has not broken the bank. But when you do pay that extra premium to get a, an extra nice drink package, you expect that most of the drinks will be included. One area that was most noticeable by most cruisers was the wine selection. A lot of the wines have gained in price and that made some of the favorite wines that people relied on in past cruises no longer in the actual premium package that they have today. Finally, the Wi-Fi has been very spotty. We don't know what's going on with it. It is a new ship, but it is Starlink. So we're very confused at why the Wi-Fi has been so spotty. When you go on the pool deck, it's almost non-existent. Other areas on the ship, it'll come in and out. Luckily for us, our stateroom has been one of the best areas for Wi-Fi. And that was a surprise because we're in an inside cabin and we thought for sure we'd have the worst Wi-Fi in our stateroom. But just something to know if you're planning to work at all from the high seas. Those were the bad or things you need to know before booking or coming aboard the Celebrity Ascent cruise ship. But let's talk about our ugly. And let's just say we were really disappointed. Something that we love about Celebrity is that typically when you come on board for a maiden voyage or the start or launch of a new cruise ship, all of the entertainment is traditionally ready in place for public viewing. We were very sad to find out that the third show called Residency was not ready and is currently not open. We hear that that is gonna come open within the next month, maybe even within the next few sailings, but for being a part of the main voyage where there were two preview cruises added on top because supposedly the ship was ready and everything was ready in advance, we were really surprised and truly disappointed by this. The good news for you, you'll probably be able to see it. And what means that we just need to come back on board and see this third show. We know that the entertainment is fantastic. So we know that this residency show is probably going to be just along the greats of the other shows. But we were disappointed we didn't get to see it. That was our review, The Good, Bad, and Ugly of the Celebrity Ascent. Overall, we had a fantastic cruise this week. Honestly, we might even have a new favorite cruise ship. Yes, we will definitely be booking the Celebrity Ascent cruise ship again, but let us know your comments below. What are your thoughts from what we have from our review? Are you going on board the Celebrity Ascent cruise ship anytime soon, or are you looking to book it? We are travel agents, so if you want to book through us, and we've booked plenty of clients already on Celebrity Ascent, feel free to go to jjcruise.com. It will also be in the description below. Tell us what you think in the comments. Let us know if you're excited for the Celebrity Ascent or if you have it booked in the future. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and until next time, see ya! See ya.